Hi, it's Karen from Black Swan Journals. I wanted to share with you another garden journal that I'm making, almost finished with. There's a little appearance from my friend that sits on my desk and keeps me company. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really put my heart into this journal. It's almost finished. I'm just not sure quite what I'm going to do to jazz up the cover and the spine. I want to do something to both. And short of that, it is pretty much finished. I put my heart into this journal in several ways. I went outside of my normal box with color. I used some more vibrant colors inside, which doesn't come all that easily to me. And I had an absolute blast and such a pleasure making it. This journal is for sale, so if anybody is interested and you'd like to have some say in what goes on with the cover and the spine, that would be lovely. Here is just a little piece of an offcut of a paper I had fun playing with paint, <laughs> and I'm going to use it to show you some tuck spots. So the cover is Authentic Music Sheet from Bye Bye Birdie. And it's been sealed with Liquitex Matte Medium. And just want to get the uh, close-up right here for you. Hope, hope you're not getting seasick. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's a variety of papers that I've handmade. And some pages from Daphne's Diary. Also some digitals that I have fussy cut and cut with an X-Acto knife. And here, this is you. Imagine this is you. This is your Ex Libris. This is your, this journal belongs to. And you fill in your name here. <laughs> I wanna put my name here. <laughs> I wanna keep this journal so badly. <laughs> But I really would love to uh, transition into um, getting into making videos for you, tutorials, and selling um, materials, and maybe some kits I put together, and journals I've made. So here I am. <laughs> but anyhow, um, here's a policy envelope that I've made, and um, uh, the papers behind it I've also done myself with paint and acrylic paints and metallic paints and inside it's all lined with book pages and I printed out um, with gray print um, there's the inside all lined I printed out some graph paper so you can design your garden uh, if you have raised beds or if you have boxes or if you have you know edged beds whatever you've got and say you want to each spring, you know, or winter is a lovely time too to, to plan out, you know, your future garden, your upcoming spring garden. But right now is a great time too where I live in the Northeast. So anyway, that's, uh, you know, your plan 1.0. <laughs> Later on, you'll see. Um, but I've made some really thick, uh, substantial hidden paper clips here and collaged on them. And here is a vintage seed packet, uh, digital, and some authentic book page by Kate Greenaway, and some entries from her that I strategically cut so you could read one of her entries. Here's a, a place where I got out of my box with some color blending. Uh, usually I go for some more neutrals in the pages and everything, the ephemera. Um, but I really had fun with the bright pinks and purples and I intended that um, out of that pocket that I sewed there, I intended that to be a faux plant stake <laughs> um, and you can journal on the front and back and I ink blended and, and created those beautiful colors. Here, I just absolutely love her. Oh. I just, ooh, I want to keep her forever. <laughs> Luckily, she's a digital, and I can print her again. <laughs> um, I got her from the graphics fairy, but yes, I love her. And I glued her down. I cut her out and glued her down to an authentic uh, vintage dictionary page. 
and strategically um, actually opened up the book to the word cut back. I couldn't believe it. I know I'm getting a little behind here in the video with the voiceover, but I have to tell you, I couldn't believe it. It was serendipity because cut back is something you do to your garden at the end of the season or in the spring, you know, if you leave it up for the birds and the wildlife for the winter and then you cut it back in the spring. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah, took advantage of that and, and used that and glued that down. And on the back of it was a, a really nice place to journal. And uh, here's a Daphne's diary page. Some beautiful watercolored peonies there. Really pretty wallpapered bedroom. Really nice magazine. I'm sure you all know about it, but it's a great magazine from the UK, I believe. And I get it delivered to me in the US. Um, it's not cheap that way, but I really like it. <laughs> Um, but anyhow, here's some um, digitals from uh, a creator called um, Chapter One, and they have uh, lovely, lovely products. And that's a quite old kit, but um, this lovely Victorian terrarium is from the Graphics Fairy. And I did some uh, layered stamping and inking on the back to create a custom look and put a NPK stamp that I hand stamped. And that stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And that is a balance you want to feed your flowers <laughs> for perfect health and perfect bloom. So if you're a gardener, you know what NPK is. <laughs> but I just thought that would be fun to, uh, to include there. And journal whatever you'd like on the back. And if you're new to this world, you can journal on all of these pages and on the back of anything blank. This is a little fun little just show and tell from my really beautiful friend, Julia. She's in the UK and she sent me that and she made it and I want to make one for my journal. She also made these fairies and I bought these from her and I couldn't help myself. I wanted one, but I ended up with three. <laughs> um, you know, score for her and score for me <laughs> because I love them and just, you know, wanted to just do a little show and tell. They're so sweet. Just love them. Uh, by the way, uh, that she's in an antique swan that uh, I think she kind of pilfered in the night from the Boston Garden uh, where I live, there's swan boats at the Boston Garden, <laughs> and I think she took one. <laughs> but anyways, I love them. Thank you, Julia. Hello, if you're watching. And she's at um, uh, Dora and Ducky um, Foxes and Fairies, I think, but I'll link her in my description box. And I got my first happy mail. Um, actually, it's my second happy mail, but I made a new friend, um, one of my subscribers, Tana from Montana. <laughs> she sent me a Mother's Day card and she, she took that photo herself. Beautiful flowers, lovely photo. Great job, Tana. And she made this and included it for me. And I absolutely love it. The paper, if you could feel it, it's beautiful. It's, uh, it's gotta be vintage on the back. It's, it's a lovely feel and, and I like to, you know, rub my fingers on it. Um, and thank you so much, both of you. So back to the journal and here's the next page. Daphne's diary and more painted pages. More Daphne's diary and these gorgeous pink tulips. And there's another journaling tag with you know, lots of writing space. I always leave writing space on the back of my tags. This is from chapter one, that digital. And it, uh, I love to take note of what my pages say. I, I take a lot of um, consideration in the pages I choose. And I fussy cut that adorable rabbit and inked him with black and pasted him down. And all the paper clips are collaged. Uh, they're not printed that way. And here's a, uh, another chapter one. You can tell what their papers are going through. Uh, they have a look. It's distinct in that kit. But um, it's a, a, an envelope that I stamped all along the inside. 
and uh, pasted um, in hand stamp seeds and it's a great place for you at the end of your growing season to collect some seeds from either flowers or vegetables that give you seeds and put them in there and plant them next year. So here's a lovely vintage postcard I found in a shop. Um, it's quite thick. It's really nice. It's blank. You can use it. And it says on there, I don't know if you can read that, but I believe it says 1995. So it's not that old, but it's it's getting there, right? It's vintage. <laughs> um, and I had some fun with collaging here. Uh, that pocket is chapter one, but that tag is, is me. Uh, I did some stamping and then had a lot of fun with different fussy cutting and uh, choosing the word love to stamp. And look at her. She is in love with what she grew. She is so happy. She's just at peace. She loves it. Love lives here. <laughs> love grows here. <laughs> um, yeah. So here's a, a pretty uh, postcard that I made. And I it's a digital that I glued on to uh, cereal box packaging. And then put a stamp. Um, that I made and uh, just used an ink and stamp and put like a faux postage mark there. And I love to pay attention to what the pages say. Just love what they say. You know, like back in time and so unique. You know, just slow down, take a minute, be grounded, notice your surroundings and, and take, take a moment. So here's some packaging that I made a while ago, kind of when I first started my channel, uh, back in late, late, uh, fall of, uh, 2023. It's now 2024 in, uh, what is this? This is May. <laughs> um, and I had so much fun. I just let myself loose. I put on some music that I love and got out a bunch of acrylic paints and stencils and cut up a ton of packaging and just had a blast on like the white side or the brown side of packaging, like vitamin boxes, stuff like that. And here, I just love her. Um, this is one of Gina Makes It's Digitals. And I'm actually on her design team, but I just love her because to me, she's sitting in her garden, she's contemplating life, she is having emotion, and she is going to write it down. And don't be afraid to just take some time and stop. You know, I know life is busy. We have kids, we have jobs and stress and you know, there's war and all these things, but, you know, try to just put that out of your mind and slow down, sit in your garden or go to a public garden or a lake or wherever you can, or put on something on YouTube, you know, if you live in the city and you don't have something like that and just close your eyes and, and let yourself go. And if you want to, you know, write down your emotion and I was hoping it would be in your garden. <laughs> And uh, while you're looking at your beautiful flowers. So here's some more pages. All of the pages here, you can tell which ones I've painted. Um, so mo the ones that are thick, I didn't reinforce. Um, they're quite thick and substantial. The thinner ones that were, I actually got in junk mail. Um, I reinforced them by gluing like this large pocket down onto, for example. And here I had a lot of fun again, just letting myself loose, putting on good music, and having fun collaging. And it's layered up with stamping, and fussy cutting, and humor. <laughs> um, this lady, she didn't grow a thing. <laughs> it just happened. Abundance just came to her. You know, that shovel, she intended on using it, but, you know, look at her. Look at her expression. She didn't need to. <laughs> it just happened, and she's just at peace, and she's loving it. So, yeah. And uh, here's more Daphne's Diary pages and uh, more tags. And here's an offcut that I had that I love to use up all my waste. And, um, you know, I thought, you know, what if someone's doing some soul growth instead of some flower growth? <laughs> Why not? Maybe you are. I know I am. 
So I just stuck that in there. You know, if you don't like it, chuck it. <laughs> but, um, and then here's another off cut and uh, thought maybe it's really substantial. It's 110 pound, um, it's like 300 and something GSM. So um, it would be an excellent bookmark. It's thick and uh, thought you could maybe use it wherever you'd like. Maybe in something you're reading, a novel or, or in this journal. And that little pocket that it was sticking in is um, from Gina Makes It as well. And here I thought maybe it's a place that prompts you to record the weather for your growing season in your garden journal. And hopefully the weather is just perfect for you. Hopefully it's the right amount of rain, nice soaking rain, not those hard flooding rains that run off and don't water our gardens. No, no, no. We want those nice, soft, soaking rains and then balanced with equal sunshine or shade, depending on what you're growing. So more Daphne's diary here and journaling tags. I inked them all on the back with uh, Tim Holtz um, tea dye. And just love those shovels. They're reminiscent of some of the fussy cutting I've done. And here, let's just pay a little homage to Jeannie. This is in Daphne's diary. This is not my story, but I just want to give them credit because what a beautiful story, this woman. Jeannie had a dream and she made it come true. And thank you, Jeannie, for planting that gorgeous garden and inspiring us and just making us feel oomph you know if gardens get you going and then i know i bet Jeannie's gardens would and here i had a lot of fun and maybe was you know a little cheeky i love to be fun and, and maybe be um i don't know if it's sarcastic right because that's kind of negative and it's certainly not negative that i'm intending but just having fun with uh you know, finding joy in the ordinary <laughs> because actually um, the flowers were huge and not ordinary at all. They were so over the top <laughs> because the lady was so small. But yeah, it's just fun. It's a sense of humor, you know, you have to have it in life. But here I'm attempting to show you the metallic sprays that are on there and the sunlight wasn't working that well cooperating with me, but hopefully you got a glimpse but there's some lovely sprays that are um, sort of like copper or rose gold colored. And I wanted to mention that a lot of my papers, I did some custom stamping. And that was an example where I just took stamps, wooden stamps from my stash. And I just um, thought about, hmm, how could I make these into journal pages or stationery? and border them and leave them with plenty of writing space but you know spark you with some inspiration and that's what I did throughout the journal to make it cohesive and there's a little die cut that I also printed on my computer uh, the words morning glory I just love those pages and how the sprays and paint splatters came out and again they're out of the box for me um, usually like a few years ago, these colors would have put me off, but now I'm doing a happy dance because I'm loving them. The vibrancy. I don't know. I've had this like, just, I don't know, just new, new thing happen to me where it's a beautiful thing and just color is just really inspiring me and bringing me so much joy and here I'm showing you I on purpose chose an old book page with the chapter number three and I chose number three because in numerology three re resembles creativity and uh, manifestation and so you know here's some um, just putting it in here for you to, for for to give you some kudos for creativity for you put some number threes in here and here's a really pretty uh digital i love it it's nice and thick um and got this nice crinkly sound if you're into that 
and I put this beautiful digital from chapter one and on the back again it was white but I did all this custom stamping um, I mean I didn't make the stamps so I guess I shouldn't really call it custom but um, there were stamps that I have purchased and they're you know I've had them for years and in, in my stash and just thought of how could I use these differently and then I thought, let's do some framing with them and make stationery. <laughs> um, I loved stationery as a kid. I used to ride my bicycle and buy it at the bookstore with my allowance. <laughs> um, and a lot of the cards and, and tags, I prompted you and put words in case you don't know what to write in this. But in case you do know what to write, I've left all of the pages blank for you to write anything you'd like. And a lot of the um, pieces that I'm removing, like this one here, I'm showing you that I only put the word note on to give you free will to come up with your own creativity and prompt yourself as to what you may want to write and record regarding your, your garden. And here I thought maybe you could write your favorite varieties Earlier on, if you noticed on one of the large tags, I had the word varieties. And that's where I thought in the beginning you could record what varieties you planted so you have a record. And here, now that it's more toward the end of the summer, the end of the journal, you may have some favorite varieties. So you could record those. Here, this is one of Gina makes its digitals. I love her. Oh. Oh, she just speaks to me. It says she dreams in color. And I think I'm dreaming in color lately. <laughs> um, I have a full video on this that I'm going to link. And it's going to be the next video. Uh, I'm going to try to launch them together. But I've never done that. So hopefully they come out at the same time for you. But it's a tutorial on a lot of these things that I made. In case you're interested in seeing it. But if you're a seasoned junk journaler, you know, you may just want to look at other people's work and you don't need to see, you know, how I did it. So I thought I'd do both, two videos, and split them up because, you know, they're each kind of long. <laughs> um, but anyway, here, a more cheeky. <laughs> um, that word on the bottom says humble. And, you know, clearly this swan is not humble because uh, this this flower is over the top. <laughs> Huge, ridiculous, <laughs> way too big for nature. <laughs> but just being fun, having some fun. And um, watercolor dyed that envelope and it looked like water to me. And I thought that swan could swim right in it. And here's another digital that I put some Bye Bye Birdie page on the top and then did some more stamping on the back to make it special. And another piece that I made into a postcard. It's got metallic sprays and sewn around the edges with uh, my new machine. And um, I left that one blank on the back just in case you didn't want it to look like a postcard. And here's some lovely papers that look gardeny. They're inspiring. They're vintage digitals. I just love them. I can't remember who it is. Um, it's old. And I inked all the edges and left them blank for you to write whatever you'd like. And and I know I've mentioned it, but just in case you're fast forwarding and stuff, um, any of these pages that are painted, you can write on all of them. Uh, here's an off cut that I didn't want to go to waste and thought I'd put, um, I intended on putting a different word and misspelled it. So I thought, well, what could I turn it into? Um, so I kind of put fauna and flora instead of, you know, normally you would hear it as flora and fauna. <laughs> but, you know, happy accident, right? So um, just some more pockets there on Daphne's diary. And I absolutely love those watercolored uh, watering can and flowers. And more pages that you can have fun drawing or writing. And here's the, the what I was saying earlier, um, the plan 2.0. <laughs> so, you know, if you're like me, I kind of take note and what successes did I have? What triumphs or what 
you know, challenges did I have or insect problems or um, that plant didn't thrive next to that plant or any notes you want to take and, and replan, you know, and then there's some more graph paper for you to do so. And another tag that I, you know, let myself go and just had fun and didn't think and, you know, I guess I did think, I did think a little, I played around a little, but I really, I, I did play around, I did, I did a little bit, I, I played around and made decisions and, and rejections, but I still just let myself go and, and didn't get, um, in my head, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's, you know, it comes out the best that way for me anyway. And here's another really large, you know, faux seed packet. I, I don't know. You could put seeds in here, but <laughs> it'd be a lot of them. <laughs> um, that I did more some machine stitching on a few pieces uh, throughout the journal. And that piece I decided to wrap around another piece and marry them and make two. And that way you get two looks, you know, you get to coordinate two papers and use your creativity and see what, what you think looks good together and, and put them together like that. And here I, again, did uh, multi-layered stamping on the inside to make it pretty for you. So everywhere you look, there's color and inspiration and flow and uh, I had so much fun making it. Uh, here's another one of Gina Makes It's Digitals that I actually have that um, in a vintage book. Um, actually, actually have that as a real uh, page. But it's beautiful the way she enhanced it. And then I just inked around the edge. And, and I'm going to do something on that back cover, but I don't know what yet. And here I strategically put, there was the word blue on the music sheet. And I left it because I have a lot of blue. And I thought that was fun. And, oh, here's my dog, Ollie. And so here's a little bit of a show and tell of my upcoming craft room. If you saw a peek of it already, um, go ahead and click off because not much d is different. Um, but uh, I did add a chandelier. That's the only difference. And I found a beautiful... Um, reproduction French chandelier. I tried to find an authentic one, but I just couldn't find one that was big enough for the room. And um, I should have a doggy gate here, <laughs> but I don't have one yet. So, um, but we put these floors down. We just put those stairs down. My husband and I are doing it together. Um, there's the chandelier. I don't have the little light bulbs yet. I want to get those like waxed ones, like with the tip, you know, they look like a real flame and it's like a, I don't know, wax silicone tip or something. And yeah, just having fun um, thinking about colors. I've been meditating, dreaming, just all kinds of what am I doing in this room? <laughs> um, thank you everybody so much. Thank everybody for subscribing. Uh, if you are interested and you'd like to subscribe, please do. It really helps my channel. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. It also helps my channel and I would really appreciate it. And thank you. Next will be a video with some tutorial on how I did the journal, if you're interested. Thank you so much and see you next time!